Hi everyone. In crystallography, in order to understand the characteristic properties of crystal systems, three important laws have been proposed. Number one, law of constancy of interfacial angles, which is also called as Steno's law. Number two, law of rational indices, which is also called Hayes law. Thirdly, law of crystal symmetry. In this video, we shall learn about law of crystal symmetry and the furthermore concepts that comes under law of crystal symmetry. So now we shall start off with law of crystal symmetry. So according to law of crystal symmetry, if you consider any crystal system, each and every crystal system will possess certain definite numbers of symmetries. And if you consider a substance, all the crystals of that substance will possess the same elements of symmetry. That is actually what we call as law of crystal symmetry. So whatever the crystal type the substance can form, if all the various crystal systems are developing by the same substance irrespective of the nature of its development that substance will exhibit same elements of crystal symmetry or elements of symmetry that is actually called as law of crystal symmetry and here we have used the word elements of symmetry there are three symmetry elements that each and every crystal system can possess that are center of symmetry plane of symmetry and axis of symmetry center of symmetry is also called as center of symmetry is also called as point of symmetry plane of symmetry and thirdly axis of symmetry which is also called as line of symmetry and in some other way we can also call it as alternating axis of symmetry also. So these three symmetry elements are collectively called as elements of symmetry and we shall discuss the elements of symmetries of all the crystal systems but here I will be considering cubic crystal for explaining all these three elements of symmetry and at the end of this video let me summarize the number of plane and number of axis of symmetries that a crystal system can possess I mean apart from the cubic crystal system we shall see the same at the end of the video firstly among the three elements of symmetry the first one is center of symmetry see uh, if you consider a crystal system in particularly as I have told the cubic crystal in that cubic crystal an imaginary point that is present within a crystal and from through that imaginary point if you draw a line if you draw a line and if that line meets the opposite faces means intersect the opposite faces provided from that point if both the faces are present at the equal distance, then that point of the crystal is said to be center of symmetry. Okay. Nextly, plane of symmetry. Uh, before going to plane of symmetry, let me say one more thing. Each and every crystal system will possess center of symmetry and there will be only one center of symmetry per each crystal system, not more than one. Now, shall go with plane of symmetry. Plane of symmetry in the sense, if you consider a crystal system and if an imaginary plane is passed through the crystal system and if that plane cuts or divides the crystal into two equal halves provided if the one part of the crystal is exactly the mirror image of the other part then that plane that cuts the crystal is said to be plane of symmetry. Here is given an imaginary plane which can divide a crystal into two parts such that one part is exactly mirror image of the 
other that is the simplest definition for plane of symmetry and uh, the crystal system do possess two kinds of planes of symmetries one is called rectangular plane of symmetry and other one is called diagonal plane of symmetry so we should well aware what is the exact meaning of rectangular plane and diagonal plane in case of crystal systems if the plane is passing through opposite faces then such plane is called as rectangular plane and if the plane is passing through diagonally opposite edges then that is called as diagonal plane and in each crystal system uh, there will be certain definite number of plane as I mean the certain definite number of rectangular as well as diagonal plane of symmetries and since we are giving much discussion regarding cubic crystal system in cubic crystal system there will be a total of nine plane of symmetries and among the nine plane of symmetries, there are three rectangular plane of symmetries and six diagonal plane of symmetries. And now we shall look over the rectangular as well as diagonal plane of symmetries in cubic crystal system. And as I said, there are three rectangular plane of symmetries and six diagonal plane of symmetries in cubic crystal so now we shall look over the three rectangular planes of symmetries that are present in cubic crystal and here as we said a rectangular plane means the plane which passing through opposite faces and here the first plane the vertical plane that cuts the crystal into two equal halves and each part is exactly mirror image of the other and the second plane that is rectangular plane is like this this is the one and thirdly the rectangular plane will be like this is the one so in cubic crystal there is totally three rectangular planes of symmetries and each plane cuts the molecule cuts the crystal into two equal halves one part is exactly mirror image of the other one front and one back so there are three rectangular plane of symmetries plane of symmetries okay and here in case of cubic crystal there are totally six diagonal plane of symmetries in that first one is uh, this one this is one plane and this is the second plane you can observe in both the cases we the plane is passing through diagonally opposite edges right and uh, thirdly This is the one and next one this is the other so one two three four and now we're left with the two more diagonal planes uh, this is the one and the other is this plane 
So there are totally six diagonal planes of symmetries. So as a whole, with the three rectangular planes and six diagonal planes of symmetries, in case of a cubic crystal system, there will be a total of nine plane of symmetries. And now we shall go to the next symmetry element that is axis of symmetry which is also called as line of symmetry. So axis of symmetry or line of symmetry in the sense so any imaginary line any imaginary line if it uh, passing through the crystal and about that axis if we are rotating the crystal and after certain number of rotations means we have to rotate the crystal system for a particular angle and after certain number of rotations if the crystal exhibits the original appearance then the crystal is said to have the axis of symmetry so in a simplest way we can define the axis of symmetry in this way the line about which the line about which the crystal may be rotated the crystal may be rotated um, such that it presents it presents the same or it presents the same or similar appearance it presents the same or similar appearance more than once more than once during the complete revolution during the complete revolution then that line is called as plane, uh, axis of symmetry and depending upon the angle about which we are rotating the crystal depending upon the angle about which we are rotating the crystal uh, there will be several types of axis of symmetries and that we shall see in case of cubic crystal in that the first one is fourfold axis of symmetry or also called as tetrad axis of symmetry fourfold axis of symmetry or tetrad axis of symmetry the name itself telling you this here the crystal is rotated uh, four times so as to get the original appearance and a fourfold axis is actually is the line which is passing through opposite faces A fourfold axis is usually the line which is passing through opposite faces. And let me show you by considering the cubic crystal. So, this is the cubic crystal, and in this, the line that will be passing through opposite faces, and about that we will be rotating the crystal so when you rotate the crystal uh, for, uh, here we said four fold axis means the crystal will be rotated for four times so for the first three rotations the similar appearance of the crystal will be appeared not the original structure i mean so i mean to say the original appearance but when you perform the fourth rotation the crystal will presents the original appearance of the crystal so after fourth rotation only the crystal set to present the original structure so that mean one complete revolution means 
360 degree so after performing four complete rotations we will be getting the original appearance so that each time we are performing a rotation for 90 degree okay and uh, in a cubic crystal there will be total of six faces right and here the axis will be passing through opposite faces therefore so among the six faces divided by two so there will be three fourfold axis of symmetries are possible in case of cubic crystal and secondly she'll go with the second type of axis of symmetry called as threefold axis of symmetry which is also called as triad axis of symmetry triad axis of symmetry that mean about this axis when you rotate the crystal system after the third rotation the crystal presents the original appearance and that we shall see uh, in the crystal so in cubic crystal a threefold axis a threefold axis of symmetry will be observed when the axis is passed through when the axis is passed through diagonally opposite corners this is the way we rotate the crystal so when the axis is passing through diagonally opposite corners after performing three rotations the crystal system will exhibit the original appearance that means after a complete revolution of 360 degree so since we are performing three rotations so each time we will rotate the crystal for an angle of 120 degree this is the angle of rotation under threefold axis of symmetry and since there are eight corners in the cubic crystal so divided by two so in cubic crystal there will be a total of four threefold axis of symmetry so there and lastly twofold axis or dyad axis of symmetry twofold axis or dyad axis of symmetry that mean about this axis when you rotate the crystal after second rotation the crystal exhibits the original appearance so that mean here the axis is passing in case of threefold axis the axis is passing through diagonally opposite corners diagonally opposite corners and if you come to the case of twofold or dyad axis of symmetry here the axis will be passed through diagonally opposite edges diagonally opposite edges so now we shall see how that axis of symmetry will be so in case of cubic crystal so diagonally opposite corners up opposite edges so so this is the diagonally opposite edges and about this axis the crystal will be rotated so for a complete revolution of 360 degree so we are performing rotation for two times so each time we rotate the crystal for an angle of 120 degree okay and here in case of a cubic crystal there will be a total of 12 edges so divided by 2 so in cubic crystal lattice there are a total of 6 twofold axis of symmetry so that means as a whole in one cubic crystal there will be one center of symmetry and uh, 
3 plus 6, 9 plane of symmetries and 6 plus 4 plus 3, 13 axis of symmetries are there. So, as a total, in case of cubic crystal system, we are having 23 elements of symmetries. And this is very much needed information for any competitive examination that such as JAM examination or TIFR that is Tata Institute of Fundamental Research or in any gate examination or anything. So this is the most needy information for any competitive track. So as I said, in case of a cubic crystal, there will be a total of 23 elements of symmetries and now we shall look over the different numbers of elements of symmetries that are present in the remaining crystal systems that is in case of rhombohedral orthorhombic hexagonal tetragonal uh, monoclinic and triclinic so six crystal systems left so in order to remember the number of plane of symmetries and number of axis of symmetries in these six crystal systems that is Rhombohedral, Orthorhombic, Orthorhombic, um, then uh, Monoclinic, Tetragonal, Triclinic, and Hexagonal. So remember how many plane of symmetries are there and how many axis of symmetries are there in uh, these crystal systems. Shall take one simple mnemonic. So that is Raja of Malva took he is a very rich now so he took a triplex house so you can remember the simple uh, mnemonic in order to remember in what order we are supposed to write the crystal system so as to remember so as to uh, analyze how many axes and how many planes of symmetries are there in uh, these crystal systems. So, Raja R refers to rhombohedral of O refers to orthorhombic, Malva M refers to monoclinic, Tuk T refers to tetragonal. So, in order to avoid the confusion between these two T's, here I gave triplex tri that accounts for triclinic and lastly hexagonal. So, this mnemonic you can remember so as to write in what order we are supposed to write these crystal systems. Okay, Raja of Malva took triplex house and here in all these six crystal systems the number of planes of symmetries and number of axis of symmetries are same okay so how to remember the number of axis and number of planes of symmetries present in these crystal systems in a very easiest way just you write seven in the first one and in the last one and later for triplex you just go with this one because triclinic system is a most asymmetric crystal system there will be no elements of symmetry in this uh, triclinic crystal system right so 7 so this is appearing is minus right so 7 minus this is tetra right so tetra plus 1 so you go with 5 so 7 minus 5 is how much 2 so plus 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3 okay so here you having tetra you just increase by one number so 7 minus 5 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 mono that is 1 right so monoclinic for 1 and here it is 3 and here also the same things will come okay so first and last you write 7 minus 5 plus 1 that is equals to 3 and this is the simplest table we can remember for the number of planes and number of axis of symmetries that are present in these crystal systems and that's about 
the elements of symmetries in the crystal systems. Um, this is the information uh, because it's helpful for you to score a good marks in any examination or any competitive examination. If you feel the video is uh, useful for you, please like it, share it and put comments and please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notification about the uh, uploads of the videos. Thank you.